Hello, Internet. Um, wanted to make one more video before I go on my vacation tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> just to catch you up on uh, what's happened uh, over the past week. Uh, so, obviously, there was my ER visit. Um, and, fortunately, nothing came of that. Well, not nothing. <clears throat> Excuse me. They did find some things. Um, the... The fluid in the plurals of my lungs, which uh, I am going to get a um, another more accurate scan to see if that's something they need to do something about. Um, I am going to go see a cardiologist uh, in a couple of weeks, I think, and um, um, oh, and um, no, I think that's it. Uh, so anyway, I had another visit with my oncologist uh, yesterday. Um, <clears throat> Thursday, and we went over everything. Um, we talked about how uh, the medication made me feel, um, and since we, like, since the ER visit kind of determined that I don't have a heart condition, or at least it doesn't seem like I do, and that most likely what I was experiencing was anxiety, other symptoms from my cancer, um, <clears throat> um, uh, could be could be the, the the fluid in the plurals that's um, that's giving me uh, the cough, um, uh, the, the 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 heartburn sensation could just be heartburn. It could be a, I could have had an anxiety attack, um, but whatever it is, it, it it looks like I do not have a heart condition. Um, so my oncologist wants me to start up the lawn surf again, which I'm going to do uh, on the 27th after I come back from vacation. Not looking forward to it. I didn't like how it made me feel, but I'm willing to give it one more shot. Um, that said, uh, if if it starts to make me feel bad in any way that I like, I really don't like, then I'm, I'm going to stop taking it again. Um, I'm just I'm not going to force myself to take something that's going to make me feel sick all the time. Um, <clears throat> we talked about. Um, we talked about, oh, um, the swollen lymph node that's right here. You can, you can see it, I think. Yeah, that bump right there. Um, so uh, the, the liver doctor that, uh, that I um, talked to about that did not seem that that was something that uh, needed a biopsy. And, uh, like, I mean, he can do a biopsy, um, but... He doesn't want to try removing it because it's in such a, a, a kind of, kind of a, a hard to get to spot. There's you know veins and nerves and everything, and it's kind of a risky place to to go at. Um, and so my oncologist was kind of like, "All right." So I'm not thrilled with that answer, but I mean, I would really like to get the, rid of this. This is it's not huge, but it's bigger than I like, and I don't I don't like that it's there. I would like to get rid of it, but if 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 professionals think that it's too risky, then it's too risky. Um, <clears throat> um, what else did we talk about? Um, so, yes, I'm going for the scan of my lungs. I'm going for the to see a cardiologist. It's really more of a routine thing. I don't expect they're going to find anything. They, they did the EKG. They did a blood test. They did an ultrasound of my heart. Everything looked fine. So I'm pretty sure that my heart's okay. Um, but yeah, I'll, I'll go see a cardiologist to, just to actually get that like cemented that, yeah, your, your heart's fine. Um, <clears throat> um, oh, and also, uh, now I noticed this like a couple of days after I got my last sores and thesis, uh, last week. Um, I started to fill up really quickly, like really quickly. Um, I felt full again by Monday. Um, and uh, I did not want to go on vacation with this, with this bloated feeling. Uh, so I called the, uh, the oncologist and I begged them for an emergency, um, like one last paracentesis before I go. Uh, and so they scheduled that for, uh, today actually. And I went today, went this morning. Um, and they pulled five liters. 
That is a new record. Five liters of fluid in seven days. So, uh, we are going to be doing this weekly from now on. Um, I really don't like that it's come to this. I did bring up the possibility of a permanent drain. But once again, my oncologist turned it down, no, shot it down. He said, he said that it's not a good idea because those are very prone to infection. And I am, uh, in a, in a position where I can't afford to get an infection of any kind. Um, so we're not going to do that. So I'm just going to have to deal with weekly paracentesis, uh, and probably a greater increase in the amount of fluid that they draw every time. It's just the way it is. Um, but, um, but yeah, I think that's, that's about it far, as far as the medical stuff is concerned. Um, personal life, I am really looking forward to this, to this vacation. <clears throat> I, um, I'm very excited to go. I leave tomorrow. Uh, I'm going to take the train down to New York City. Uh, I've got a layover there and I'm going to, um, uh, then hop onto the train down to, uh, South Carolina, um, and then once I'm there, that arrives, <laughs> excuse me, that arrives very early Sunday morning, and, um, <clears throat> uh, my friend is going to be there to pick me up, uh, we're gonna hang out until check-in, which is at 4 p.m., um, I'm probably just gonna end up taking a nap, um, she, she has a, um, she's bringing a sleeper van, so I can just like zonk out in the back if I need to. And I'm probably definitely, definitely going to need to. Um, and then, yeah. And then we'll get into the, into the yurt and chill. Uh, I did check the weather report for the area. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to be rainy. However, she did say that for that area, it could rain for like five minutes and be fine the rest of the day. Uh, so it's not a guarantee that it's going to be pouring rain all, all day long. Um, <clears throat> Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I'm packing an umbrella and I'm being prepared for it to be a, a, a rainy week where we spend most of the time indoors, but fingers crossed that we will have some time to spend outdoors, hopefully by the fire pit at night. I would really like the clouds to part so we could look up at the stars, but if that doesn't happen, then oh well. Um, aside from that, I still have those very nebulous plans to visit with uh, my friend Matt. Um, not sure when we're going to do that, but we're going to aim for sometime in early October. Uh, my mother wants to come visit, um, and so we're trying to figure out when she's going to do that. Um, and my brother wants to visit, and we're trying to figure out when he's going to do that. So uh, I, I'm very happy that I am going to have a rather consistent amount of visitors. Just got to figure out how it's all going to lay out. Uh, and we'll, we'll get to that, you know, when we can. Um, oh yeah, one last note. Uh, I'm glad people liked the, the previous video that I posted this morning. I was, I have been going to that hospital for procedures and checkups and, and scans and whatever for, for like four years now. Uh, and I pass by that auditorium every time I'm there and it, <laughs> I have always wanted to do that. Uh, it's just like something I just thought was funny. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. <clears throat> um, so I finally worked up the courage to do it and I'm so glad nobody was in there because I would have been, I would have chickened out if somebody was in, if somebody had been in the auditorium. So I was glad it was empty, but, uh, no, I just, it, it just something that I saw and I, I thought it would be funny to do. So I'm, I'm glad people thought that was funny. All right. Anyway, um, that's it for this one. I'm going to go turn in, get as much sleep as I possibly can. Cause I got to leave not super early, but you know, earlier than I would normally get up. So, um, that's it for this one. I will take as many pictures and video as I can over the week, and I will put it all together for a nice big video next weekend. Um, I hope I'm going to try, I'm going to really try to make a nice solid, uh, edited video next week to show you what my week was like. So, uh, until then, uh, I hope everyone is well. Take care, and I'll see you next time.